So this is, uh, this is it. This is my final duels run ever. I am sad to say that, of course. I, I loved duels so much during its peaks and still loved it a little during its valleys. <sighs> Oh, 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 baby! <laughs> Turn three, sword of the fallen. <laughs> I actually thought it was based off ones that have gone off. But uh, of course, I, I still long for the glory days of duels and um, I, I think I recaptured them a little bit with this run. It's certainly gonna have some familiar faces, some familiar bombs, some, uh, some chaos, of course, as duels often offers and um, an ending that only duels could ever provide. So I hope you guys will enjoy this one as much as I did. The last duels run you will ever see at least from me. I'm gonna do one more run. Uh, this is gonna be my last run forever. Maybe we'll finish on an armor warrior for old time's sake. Just bomb it out, dude. Bomb it out. That's the uh, duels bombed. So we shall bomb. Let me find a good Rattlegore bomb list with excavate stuff. 12 in one list. Here we go. Magnetic mines, of course, and scrap metal demolitionists. All right, final, this is it for real, for real, for me. This is my final duels run ever. 100% um, final run. This stack is running Bran, okay. A little bit of greed. I like a little greed though. I think that's fine. I'm cool. No Odin, but that's okay. We can get one probably. You don't need it anyway. Sometimes you just out, out value, out greed, out bomb people. All right, this is the last time I'm ever going to hit this button in my life. Win or lose. I don't care if we go 03. I'll upload this. <laughs> this honestly would be a fitting tribute to our duels experience to be honest so yeah bombs in these early games uh, are the predominant way to win i think so armor vendor just having that turn one um armor gain is gonna just give us that bomb out but only flames and sanitize seem fantastic against dudes so that's good news uh yeah duels dude i'm sad sad day indeed that's good against dudes too Gotta make sure I know how all these cards work. <laughs> I, I, I'm seeing a lot more weird cards. I've kind of got standard, honestly. I'm in a pretty good spot on standard. I hit legend last month. I'm already like diamond 10 this month in standard. Say already, it's like the middle of the month, but that's pretty fast for me anyway. Um, but uh, duels, I don't even know. Is my audio not working by the way? What the heck, dude? You guys have audio? Oh, there it is, it's working. Maybe this just isn't loud enough when I click to come through on the game audio. It really sounds reasonable. Yeah, Cobalt Miner or set up a forge. I think the forge is more valuable. We don't want to lose the board too hard. Not thinking about Ignis or anything. Just thinking about survivability. Because we can do this on three, this on four with this. And then this is ready to go on five, right? And we still have armor, so that's important. Um, Belling Flames here doesn't really feel that good into these. I'd probably rather do something else. I might just... <sighs> nah, I don't know. We're going to get a treasure for one. This is a good curve play. It's fine. We can still... Um... Yeah, nice. Okay. If it's a weapon or mini, give it plus one plus one. That gives you a turn for Craftsman Hammer sometimes. I don't hate that. Mailbox Dancer, I don't really want to give them a coin. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Dredge is, is valuable regardless, just to get a pick here. Um, Yeah, let's do it, man. That's a fine turn four. I don't think we'll actually necessarily need Sanitize on five. I mean, maybe, but, um, but Flames is, is often good enough on five is, is, I guess, my point. And that way we can get the hammer going a turn earlier, maybe. Uh... Let's see how much they trade in here. Oh, that's pretty good. This makes the flames look notably better.
if we trust Hammer, though, and Hammer does get me armor, too, how much do we take off all these idiots if I go Hammer? I don't know. Hammer is bombs, which is good. Hammer is still life, which is good. And between Sanitize and Hammer next turn, I expect to be able to clear. Or or Flames and Hammer, too, both. Even a, even a like, um, Aura or a Man at Arms or whatever doesn't kill me here, so... We have some wiggle room. They would also go to three health for that, which would be fine for sanitize even at a base level. So we got some options. I mean, they have what? Four bombs in deck out of 12 cards in deck. So not quite enough for a lethal push yet. One attack to face would technically give us lethal outs. Obviously not time to do that just yet, but let's see what they're cooking here. They're probably wondering if Aura is worth a commitment now or if they need to develop more. Because they're probably thinking the same thing, like, oh, Sanitize wipes me out, dude. Well, yeah, Sanitize puts me at three, yeah. Uh, this is before now. I'd have to go face, actually. I wouldn't have a full clear. I leave behind a ghoul, but that's kind of the least intimidating uh, problem. Oh, okay. That's actually a little, a little more annoying, isn't it? Um... Oh, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is fine. Boop. We go face uh, just to get that extra life per turn. Bombs are stacking up. Sanitize is incoming. Uh, we might even have time to play Bran. I, I, we don't really need him this game. I, you know, bombs are going to do the job on an early duels game, but... He's there. He might make sense. Not gonna turn him down if he's open, you know? Eh, that kind of needs to be dealt with. That is hard to deal with, though, honestly. Uh, our last card is much better against that. Trial by Fire, also probably a little better against this. Ignis, not better against this. Yeah, man, Sanitize here just kind of sucks. I mean, it's not terrible. I probably have to do it even. Just so I don't like leave too much scary stuff on board. Uh, you know, because wider the board, the scarier it gets. Can they draw a bomb? Are you kidding me? We're at six bombs. Not one bomb drawn. So next board can be dealt with with Brawler, even without uh, Excavates. It's it's probably still worth it sometimes. Let's see how scary it is, I guess, but... We'd still probably prefer, like, a Trial by Fire or something if we could. <coughs> Air Raid? Okay. <coughs> I mean, this is probably still Brawler-worthy, right? Because... Uh, you just don't want to get beat by those wide board cards. The only thing is I know they're going to reload next turn. Can I get away with an excavate? Probably kill two things a lot of the time. I'm going to go to 19 armor. I can probably get away with this. It's kind of risky. Um, okay. This is really nice, actually. Yeah. It's good stuff. Like I said, can probably kill two things. <laughs> just gonna attack again. Um, like I said, just keep the board not too wide. Oh my god, dude, seven bombs in deck, and they've got 12 cards. They've not drawn a single bomb with seven in deck. I I'm losing it over here. So this is probably always gonna be the brawler turn. Even if we don't, you know, blast charge is not gonna have time, but that's okay. We just have to clear these wide boards. Any Anything winning is okay. Sola later is fine. I guess we actually kind of want the Silverwing to win, right? Well, no, our 4 4 wants to win, but uh, Silverwing's next best pick. Oh my god, she did it anyway, dude. We don't, we did, she's not even active, right? Oh, maybe, no, she is active. Oh, she was yellow. Oh, I had Cobalt Miner. I forgot I played the Miner. Oh, dude, <laughs> dude, let me tell you what, guys. I was living in suspense, I'll tell you. I was living in suspense. I thought, boy, oh boy, she did it, guys. She did it. Um, so Zola on this is insane, but I can't play it yet. Let's look at Ignis first. 
Well, shield block first is better because because trial by fire is insane. Demolitionist is not quite as insane. <laughs> Even 12 out. I feel like I need an Ignis weapon to deal with this, but are any of the one mana weapons any good? Uh, poisonous? I mean, that's something, I guess. Gain two? I mean, sure. I don't know. I gotta deal with the board, so. Helps against, like, auras and stuff. Dude, the opponent has nine bombs in their deck and they just won't draw one, dude. Maybe I could have gone face with this weapon too for a lethal out, but I just know they don't ever draw bombs, so what's the point? Eight bombs in deck out of ten, dude. Are you kidding? <laughs> They've drawn one bomb. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to go for scrap metal next turn. <laughs> just to try to go for a lethal out. So I don't die. Oh god, dude. This is 15 damage. I'm at 21. Am I dead? 16 damage? No. Oh, they have to trade in a little too. Yeah, that, that actually makes sense. That, they probably just have to. Um, is trial by fire any good? Bro, I feel like I I feel like I have to go I have to go face. Burrow Buster? Bro, I, I think I have to go face. I can't clear. There are some treasures, yes, that would technically clear. <sighs> Maybe I have to try that instead because the outs don't really change that much from this guy. Does 20 keep me alive? No, never. Yeah, maybe I look for maybe I look for a treasure here that like keeps me alive and then we still have the out to go face if we want and the odds don't change much. Yeah, this is. Just complete and utter garbage. Okay. Bro, if I lose this game because the opponent, this is a good faith ogring. If they don't draw two bombs here, I'm going to lose my mind, dude. Nine bombs out of 11 cards. Come on, dude. Thank God. Don't emote me, bro. <laughs> dude, you've been dodging bombs like Neo. Do not get mad at me right now. Oh, uh, one extra mana crystal. I mean, yeah, hold the line is absolutely useless to me. One extra mana crystal early. It's like forging, you know, maybe some excavate stuff, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. Book of Wonders for my final run does sound fortuitous in some ways, but I'm also just nervous. So this is a good payoff with Brawler. It does break brand though. This is pretty good. Yeah, Minotaurian's nice. Steam Guardian's pretty cool. Still protects brand for a minute. Yeah, I like Minotaurin a lot, so. I um, mean, Book of Wonders would be fitting, I'll be honest. I kind of regret it already. I wanted a good run though. I wanted like a lot of wins, but does sort of feel against the spirit of <laughs> of duels <laughs> i just wanted to have i want to extend this final run as long as i can you know felt like book of wonders was not the way to do that watch them be like duels had such an insane spike in player activity on the final day we've decided to extend its lifespan i would take it although not really i, I wouldn't want it to be as it's been uh, just an inactive mess, you know, I want it to be supported with new content new heroes new stuff, you know That's what made it fun to me. So cobalt miner is um, Pretty nice. Yeah Maybe we keep a sanitized too, just to have um, some kind of board clear and removal and stuff We would prefer an armor gain card early probably if we get one reinforced plating on turn two actually is really nice Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, we can do it on turn one if we want with coin One extra bomb does that make a difference to us? Maybe? Battle mage already? Jeez. I can still fill my curve um, because I have Cobalt Miner plus whatever this treasure is, right? So it's not like it hurts the curve or anything. So it's 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 pretty significant impact. It's actually maybe two extra bombs realistically because I... Well, no, no, that's not true. I probably would have played the plating on two always. 
Do we ever Zola the uh, Kobold Miner? <sighs> Dude, I'm getting smorked. I was right about the sanitize. I need something to react to this. I guess life gain is a good way to react to things, generally. Cleave? Bro. <laughs> I love it. So, I mean, I guess the two right ones are okay, but this actually could buff my card too. Man, never lucky. That guy can hit any minion. That death rattle give any other minion. So it's kind of a low roll. This would have been a two two into a two two. Though we're a little sad. Now this death rattle though is probably going to be more beneficial to them most of the time because it's just going to bounce on their cards most often. I'm off curve here a little bit. Hammer is really good to see though. I think we forge the sanitize. Let's make sure it's ready to go. Three is going to be a pretty solid number. It also might just kind of slow down the opponent a little bit. They're like, oh, he's he's forging. That might be a sanitize. I need to uh, slow down here. That just buys me time because with time we'll win anyway, I think. Although this is, <clears throat> of course, a lot of value. It's not like overwhelming, insane value. Oh, it's gross though, man. I actually need the sanitize already, dude. Stop. Stop hitting me. Yeah, we'll just kill the Taskmaster for now. This is active already, which is good to see. Slows them down a little extra, maybe. This is our sanitized turn. Bomb number one. Unlike last game, we're actually getting some bombs early. Oh, never mind. It burned. Wow. Ten cards in hand, how rude. Canary on this, okay. I actually don't mind that, I'll play it. Ouch of coins, good lord. Stop, stop. What is getting played? Reap what you sow, dude, they're going too hard here. They know I have something here. Yeah, we're just going to wipe this board out, although we are admittedly taking a monster amount of damage. That's honestly not the worst, though. That's something we can actually recover okay from. You know, we're going to gain six this turn, so. All right. More bombs actually have some space now. Yeah, but no bomb. So uh, we don't have a great. Oh, actually, we do have trial by fire. We do have a great board clear this turn. And we have uh, Brawler on seven. So we can actually clear kind of the next two boards. Hopefully by then they're kind of out of steam or maybe I can even Zola Brawler for later or something. What is this? The Black Morass Imposter. I know I looked at the Caverns of Times cards, but this, this is un I've just never seen this in my life. Thunderbringer. They probably don't actually have an activation for that, right? So one, two, three is good. Okay. We don't think this is actually going to connect in this deck, do we? I mean, I know there are decks that have stuff for that, but this deck doesn't seem like that deck to me. Since we're at 15, we don't need armor for bombs or anything. I'm going to hold this weapon charge just in case it's a little better later. Can technically punish us because of stuff like Ignis, but I think it's okay for now. Uh, yeah, they're burning all my bombs with hand size, which I, I don't know if that's calculated or not at the moment, but it's, it's definitely effective. It's pretty cool either way. <coughs> I mean, the good news is if they do that, where they stay at 10, they're never going to build that threatening of boards and we'll just just kill them probably. So it's uh, that that game plan requires you to be able to keep up playing kind of, you know, one or two things and, and keeping your hand full can be a challenge to do all of that simultaneously. Antique Flinger. Shatter Shambler. So that looks like a good bash, but at the same time, man, Ran is, is pretty spicy. This is just a lot of armor. I think we have the advantage of inevitability here, so... I don't mind giving them armor vendor armor, basically. I don't know if that's 100% true, by the way. Like, they do have unlimited minions, and we do not have unlimited cards, so... In some ways, you might argue that their inevitability is there. But, um... 
I don't know. I think we're okay. We have Ignis, which is pretty crazy. Do I have a way to make another excavate? Yeah, Burrow Buster times two. Thinking about... I currently have Burrow Buster and Blast Shard, so I can get to the big eight drop board guy. Oh, they bounce back the brand. Okay. Oh man, Astor is kind of scary though. That's a different kind of inevitability, right? That's um, I'm gonna kill you inevitability. <clears throat> That's sort of spooky. Let's see what this turns into. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. Ignis, let's let's wait one turn on this Ignis. Okay, so Astalor, I mean they are at what seven bombs it looks like. I mean that's a lot of inevitability, man. The, the, like. They're not going to be able to do the full hand thing forever. I'm at 25, which feels pretty good against Astalor. Um, Ignis gives me two potentially crazy weapons that can gain a ton of armor and board. I really want to uh, excavate, though, if I can, to get the the big reward guy. Uh, Well, let's see what these are, I guess. It's more value. More insane value. So Burrow Buster into Guy would be the play right now, yeah. Rogue Secrets. I mean, look at this list. My head cover. I, I, I forget it, dude. I, I'm just going to pretend those don't exist and play the game as if I've never seen them in my life. I'm just gonna put a bunch of bombs in hand, which is kind of cool because they won't go off. But also, you may have no, no cards in hand. It shows me when they get drawn too, which is kind of cool. That's sort of funny. Guess I don't really want to play, I don't think. Is this just a good turn for Brawler, maybe? I don't, it's hard to say. I don't know how, how scary this board is realistically, but I think it's okay. What's happening here? Why can't I, why is this? It, is this just green for the brawl finishing animation? Okay. Uh, oh, that was from her death rally. Yeah. Oh, snipe. That's funny. That's fine. That's counter spell and stuff here. Ambush. Okay, that's not too bad. No counter spell. No counter spell. Uh, you're a plus two. Doesn't quite clear stealth. Maybe. We didn't get a face attack, so actually Freebooter does give me some data. Might do that. Not really worried about the poisonous guy so much. Oh! Oh, I'm an idiot! I- Ah, Bran! I could've cleared it! Ah, you idiot. It's all planned. I wanted them to have a really weak summoning ward. It's all calculated, you fools. Don't you know? Don't you know? This is actually pretty sick with Minotaurin, by the way. Uh, but it's gonna be really impossible to, to get it on the right target Till I have like nothing left. Gazrilla? Oh my Oh my Burrow Buster Bash deals with that Minotaurin Bash does not Bro, can I do it? Can I just hit it? I don't want to lose that much armor. It's too risky. Uh, let's go Ignis try to get maybe a uh, Poisonous or something Maybe we go five uh, the one's a little more flexible right now. Let's me play like a bash Let's start with one we got the poisonous, okay Um, Deal two on this It's kind of okay, I guess draw cards a little risky this late all right. Let's go five this time. Life steal maybe for the long term game here actually seems pretty cool. Uh, and gain four. Okay. This is nice.
All right, it's gonna hit Minotaur and easy. I don't know if it's worth losing this armor or not, but Okay, nice. It, it is if the Minotaur gets to a hit, right? If the Minotaur does not get to hit because you're dead It's not it's not worth it confirm. It's oh, okay. Uh, a lot of bombs Opponent has 12 cards left in deck uh, Five we think or no, maybe two were only bombs. No, I think I was reading that wrong two were bombs They have like three or four bombs in hand Lady in white's just garbage. This card is always so bad. You guys, I remember still to this day, I tried to convince me this card was good in card reviews. And I'm telling you, it is not. <laughs> I can still confirm to this day, it is garbage. Yeah, Minotaur in here is pretty nice, I think. Um, I guess I may be Zola the Ignis, but it also feels kind of pointless, to be honest. There is a world where maybe the opponent can't remove this Minotaurin and I'm better off um, Bro, do I just want like Minotaurin back too? I guess Ignis is ultimately way more stuff if this game does go long It can't go that long because of bombs, but I think they could they could extract, you know a full hand size thing and delete the bombs that that's a game plan Maybe I don't know so just to be safe we're back to 28 um bro buster gives me that insane um bull that summons like a million eight drops it's pretty good oh they're back to astalor now but it may just be too late right especially if this gets to attack like that's just game over right demolitionist heals me for 10 and puts two more bombs in do they actually have four bombs in deck i don't know what this means maybe two are in hand Maybe that's what that means. Elder Nadox, dude. What? Right, this never got played. I forgot this card existed. That is an unheard of card. Tar Slick. They still have to hit it though. Well, I still heal eight. That's insane. Oh, this is this is this is nuts. Okay. Forget it, dude. Like this has got to be game over, right? I don't even check about lethals here. I'm just <laughs> Kolagarn's pretty crazy. Wind Fury have Mega Wind Fury. What if I hit a Wind Fury minion? I'm gonna do it. I don't need Kolagarn. Who cares? Um, uh, Battlecrime. Oh, Rot Face. Cool. Oh, bro. Oh, Grom is nuts. Thunderbringer, Cthulhu, Troublemaker's insane. Oh my God. Actually insane, dude. I only get one, but it's insane. Dude, this card is fun and wild. This card is very fun. I, I don't see how the opponent gets out of this. I've said that a few times, and then they bust out the most obscenely broken thing I've ever seen. Um, That's not obscenely broken, I would argue. That's pretty cool, but again, not obscenely broken. I'm a little sad I didn't hit a Wind Fury minion, dude. Imagine I get um, Idiot uh, Alakir or something instead of Grom, dude. Oh my god. That would be so fun. Good win, though. Good win. Um, Holy Book's kind of in our, li in our, in our wheelhouse, you know, like big, big removal. We have removal, but not maybe good silence style removal. I might take this. I mean, Necrotic Poison is similar, but we do have a lot of cards like Necrotic Poison. Pure Cold, I mean, damage is cool, but we kind of hope to just get on that eventually anyway. Heavy Plate is nice. Executes okay. Berserker is bad. Prison Breaker, this isn't a real card, so we don't have to pick that. <laughs> just, just not a real card. <laughs> Um, this is like too taunty. I kind of do like this best even though the double craftsman hammer hits I could protect Bran a little longer if I go left and I don't hate left. I just don't like frothing I also don't like starlight whelp though and prison breaker kind of cool, but hard to use I might I might go one more time protecting the uh Protecting the brand for a minute. Let's see how it goes Okay, um, I don't have any idea what mage is about, but I know we got crystal gem So I can forge on one to play, you know, if nothing else ignis on 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 
two if I want, actually, with coin. Probably not very good, but a possibility. Sticky fingers, not too, not too intimidating. Oh yeah, that ice shard guy. That's a thing, isn't it? Frothing on two. Actually, do frothing right now. Could try to smelt the frothing and make it absolutely insane, but I don't think that's gonna work. Um. Bash on one's probably not crazy either, to be honest. I'm just kind of hoping it works here this turn, maybe. Uh, yeah, well, that's not really a bash demanding target either, to be honest. Uh, it's just getting armor sooner rather than later, you know, is always better. Yeah. Playoff curve here, I, I guess, I don't know, whatever. This bomb, this might, this might actually account for quite a few bombs, so. I, I don't hate Ignis on four, just because a, a good weapon on five could be kind of life-changing. The downside is, do we need a bunch of weapons to win this game? Because, you know, like Zola weapon, Brand weapon are all possibilities to play for later. Which don't exist if I go for Ignis now. Frothing Berserker now. I mean, what else am I going to play it, right? It's no good. <laughs> it might keep the opponent nervous, which might protect my armor total, which might get me an extra bomb or two, which might steal the game. I don't know. Yeah. That's really not so bad. This is a decent billowing flames setup. <laughs> Maybe trade flames. Um... I might coin too though because counterspell seems like a bit of a risk. Yeah. Kind of overkill on this flames, but not much else looks very good. That's a pretty intimidating board for just a reinforced plating, I think. Bomb. Okay, I do like when the bombs hit early. It's kind of wasted in some ways. Not really wasted, but it just makes the opponent play a little scared sometimes. Like, oh man, he's gonna hit me in the face with a weapon. I'm I'm nervous, you know. It's like suddenly Ignis can be a check on their their life. Be spooked. Ooh, amulet, big dragons later. Okay. Yes, draw more cards. Yes, perfect. Oh my god, dude, this is the opposite of that paladin. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna... Nah, let's go here. This plus shield block is pretty cool. This plus forge is also pretty cool, but I have so much armor, I don't think we need it. We're not gonna lose, you know, 14 armor. Oh my god, dude. They are hitting every bomb, dude. Ignis can just be lethal soon. Ignis is actually guaranteed lethal next turn if they don't heal or taunt. I got a one cost weapon and a rock for five. Are you kidding me, dude? We're aggro bomb warrior. Oh, they gained armor. Sad day. Sad day, dude. I'll probably still take the Ignis for five here. Sanitize is kind of nice, though. This is six. I do get frozen though, so this gets kind of, in both cases, a lot worse. Feels kind of weird to take Ignis unless I get Battle Cry weapon that hits that 2-1. This feels like an early sanitize too though. It's like nothing here actually feels that good. Um, turn hit for six. I can always rock this if I have to. I just hate to lose the damage. This is kind of a weird decision. Uh, okay, this is good too. Actually. Oh, Battle Cry deal two. Does that go face? <sighs> Presumably I get this damage back next turn if I hit the minion now. This does remove a bomb out, but they're so unlikely to hit a bomb because, you know, there's only one out of 12. So I'm thinking like, you know, rock plus weapon next turn or something. I don't know. It's not even really there yet still, but um, 
It's it's again pretty close. Sanitize does not deal with the 8 8, but certainly execute does. I want to just execute. I got five damage here. Six if I go for hammer. <laughs> Dang it, dude. <laughs> Do we really sanitize, execute? That seems so bad. This this sets up a two turn lethal, so I guess it's okay. Bomb also lethal. Oh my god, dude. It sets up a one turn lethal. This guy's the most unlucky guy I've ever seen. This guy and the paladin need to get married or something so that they have balanced luck in their life. Unbelievably unlucky. I would be so tilted if I were them on the final day of duels, their last night of duels ever. And this is what you get. Um, oh man. These are all actually kind of intriguing. Battle Stance is intriguing because it's just like overwhelming damage in this deck. Cloak is just obscene value, although I will say it's sometimes very hard to use value. And then of course, all together now, we know we have Battlecry cards um, to benefit from Bran. Bran himself included at five, much easier to weave in. I think it's gotta be all together now. Some don't benefit, of course, you know, we, we don't, Kobold Miner, but that's that's it, that and Vendor, everybody else does. Brawler's cheaper, Bran is cheaper, Demolition is cheaper, yeah, it's gotta be all together now. It's not the spiciest discount at only one, but it's good. It's good. Um, blast charges are really nice. I've, this is not a real card. I've never seen this. <laughs> I did this. I've never seen this card. It says it's from Showdown in the Badlands, and I reviewed the full set, but I don't remember that one. Um... I mean, I love the excavates, but I'm really looking for battle cry cards if I can. The unfortunate thing is all these battle cry cards are the wrong cost. It might be this, dude. Sanitize is nuts. Armor, we do kind of need some card draw. We've, we're not, we're not the, you know, we don't have a ton of card draw. I think it's this. Trial by Fire has certainly been fine too. Re the, the brand is notably getting more and more challenging, of course. That's just gonna happen, I think, but um, we'll see. Okay, Bran. I mean, he is insane. I need Sanitize and Trial by Fire. Boy, I might keep him. I don't know. I don't know what this Druid deck's about. So I don't know how greedy to be. <laughs> I, don't, I think they're like hero power probably, right? Like gaining a bunch of attack and armor maybe. That sounds scary because armor is a great way to shut out bombs. I don't know. Uh I mean, I can play that next turn, which is kind of cool, but not really. Sometimes, I guess. If they play a little two drop uh, armor gain minion guy, a bear guy, naked bear guy. Yeah, that too, I guess. Yeah, I guess Forge Flames into Heart Blossom here is pretty solid, actually. Let's start pushing a little chip damage. I do wish we had some armor gain, though. It's the only thing about the hand I kept that's a pretty significant downside. No bombs getting shuffled yet. Uh, and Bran, I don't know, man, this Bran's greedy. I thought, like, I might need the value to win, but at the same time, I, it's just sitting there dead like an idiot right now. As is the rest of my hand altogether. I need, um... I mean, honestly, Ignis isn't crazy. He's three, right? So... I would probably Zola this, to be honest, just to keep the gears turning a little bit just to play something. Execute is not very good. Boy, I don't know about this bellowing, but it's what we're doing. Um, boy, this hand, so bad. What are the odds I draw exactly sanitize and trial by fire by turn five, please? <laughs> I think this brand was a terrible idea. A terrible idea. You know, it wouldn't have been a terrible idea if we had good plays, but we just didn't get great plays. Don't have a lot to do right now. Restore five. That's kind of boring. That's not too much. Um, 
Yeah, we'll trade. I mean, I really do want the armor, but I just don't have anything to do next turn. So I'm actually not playing Bran. Okay, this is honestly pretty okay. No discount. Unless we hit the fire spell, but um, all, all okay. We got to cycle a couple cards. We got to play a body. I can live with this. Hagatha's Embrace makes me so nervous. We have Holy Book and Execute, so yeah, and Brawler. I mean, yeah, well, it could be worse. Dude, I have not shuffled one bomb into their deck yet. That is scary. <laughs> so scary. Bash? Yeah, we gotta play it just to get bombs going. If only Bran were active, man. I'm looking back at those those card picks. I'm sure there was a bucket that, that kept Bran active, and I'm thinking now, like, was it worth it? You can't keep him active forever, so you, you, I feel like at some point you feel like you have to turn the corner and give up, but did we do it too early, you know? Maybe. It's a good execute if I can find the line to go with it, you know? Oh, actually, yeah, that's a great line to go with it, sure. Not a brand active play, but just a body... More armor, more bombs. We'll take it. Finally, just glad to have some bombs kick in. Keeping their health in check against what I presume will be a lot of life gain. Although that said, we haven't seen any armor gain stuff. I don't know. It's been more like priest value cards. I, I don't know, you know? Two false disciples? I, oh, there's finally some attack and armor gain stuff, maybe. All right. That looks a little more interesting. It's a good Minotauran, I would say. Ah, heavy plate getting traded again, dude. This this card has been all over the place. We'll save this for a bigger, better shaped board, I think. Minotaur in here, keeping the health total safe, keeping the bombs flowing. 18 in deck, four bombs, so not even close yet. Uh, oh, we hit one of the trial by fire, so Bran is getting closer. Oh my god, that's... Very scary. Uh, holy crap. I mean, maybe we just go for the win now. Like, maybe they just can't answer this, you know? Like, this board just kind of wins, maybe. <sighs> you know? Oh, hey, play, play your big boys. Oh? 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 Can they really deal with all of this? This is great against big boards. I mean, technically I don't have any excavates. So I have one excavate, I guess. Is this just enough to get there, dude? It's like a 21-21 swing with my eight cost card, right? Oh, bro. That's big, but there's no way. Wait, they just drew one. Oh my God, this deck's crazy, dude. Bwansamdi Atomaton. Bwansamdaton. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I'm glad we just put them on it. You know, sometimes you just got to put them on it. Uh, this is Battlecry cards. Yeah, so Blade is cheap. The only downside really is just like, well, I mean, what am I doing with it? You know, like, yeah, it's... It is a lot of pressure. It is a lot of value. Just keep replaying it. I do have other weapons I like to play, though. So in some ways... It's kind of annoying. The thimble, though, is just not good. Banana split's really not very good either, right? Like Minotaurin, kind of, but too expensive. Yeah, it's probably blade. Three cost blades, a lot of pressure. Marut, Aftershocks, and Therizane. That's crazy. Aftershocks, Juggernaut, and Expanse. Blade Storm, Cargo Guard, and Deathwing. I kind of like this, man. I don't know. It's like board clear, armor gain. Removal stuff. This is a battle cry, so it's cheaper. These are battle cries, don't really do anything for us. Reno. All right. Um, I just don't know the meta at all. I just do not know what to keep. I'm going to keep sanitized because I just, you know, board clears are cool to have as a backup plan. Uh, some good excavate stuff here, yeah. Blast charge harder to use though a little bit. Bitter cold and black ice. So definitely some freezing mechanics here. 
There's only its minions now. I gotta I refresh myself on how everything works these days. Um, this is just so hard to activate sometimes, man. Oh, I don't mind that. That's okay. We like the armor, yeah. Gonna give me an extra bomb, dude. That might make all the difference. Does this activate? No, sad. All right, these go together, but not this, not this turn. How many extra bombs did they give me with this? Maybe like two plus bombs free off this armor vendor. I mean, it's, you know, bombs were at a stage already in duels where the bombs are not necessarily that threatening. You know, you need you need to support the bombs, of course, but eventually they get there, right? Eventually. Okay. I could activate a blast charge if nothing else. So. Yeah, not a lot to do. But yeah, they're just not dealing well with this uh, armor gain. You know, we just they still would not have gotten through all the armor. This would have given me so many bombs. You know what? Perfect. Didn't have anything else to do. Would have preferred a blade of the burning sun. Just keep sending that damage face probably, but this can work fine. Sanitize is all minions, so that doesn't ever create shenanigans with frothing. Not to mention our armor is, of course, just too high for that, but... Would have to be exactly zero and this have no damage anyway. That's... That's the, that's the scary part. Finley already, huh? What if they'll hit any bombs? As we saw, we know they stay in hand, but let's kind of reduce the efficacy of the Finley a little bit. It is 2 a.m. by the way, the final night of duels. We got a little run cooking so far, man. I mean, even if it's like four and three, even if we lose out, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm chill. This is, uh, could be worse, man. For the last night ever. Ray of Frost, sure. <laughs> it's as if I care about this, but I just don't care about this at all, you know? They're gonna kill this for me, I think. Oh, fun. Um, is that blast charge worthy? I mean, sure, I don't know. I'm not really going to use this rock anyway, right? So, give me something to do. Heavy Plate does let me activate a stone skin armorer pretty easily. But surely I'm going to have other ways to activate that. I don't really need the cards right now yet either. This is definitely good to get going early. Just start weaving in face pings, you know? Um really creates that pressure on the bombs that, that makes them scary. Uh, otherwise, uh, like Minotaur next turn is pretty good. I think Azerite Blade is really nice. Uh, okay, we'll just overwrite that. That's fine. Probably not really killing this Blingtron, but I'm also not necessarily worried about it. Is this like a combo? Like, I, it looks scary, right? Like, it looks like I'm gonna die to this later. But they played it now, so I don't know. Kind of spooked. Treasure guard? Yeah, why not? Sure. I'm not super worried about the damage from this 5-5 five five yet. We got Minotaur in. We got Sanitize to stabilize. Uh, I think we're okay. We got a taunt. I mean, frankly, we got a taunt. You know, it's fine. We'll be okay. <clears throat> if they go wide, we probably just go sanitize. I mean, technically, I don't really have the armor to make it great right now. If they don't go wide, we probably just go Minotaur and trade straight. I think I just keep pushing the four to face, though. I don't think I worry about the Finley yet. He's just not that intimidating. Are they really going to just trade this 5-5 five five in straight up on a 1-5? Because that's amazing, if so. I guess you freeze the one five first just to get your 2-2, two two, though. <clears throat> Ignis, all right, we forged, so he's good. But we got this weapon. We don't necessarily need the Ignis weapon yet. There may be a moment it feels more worth it, but right now, not necessary. So Sanitize does clear still if it's if it's worth it, we think. 
You gonna freeze their Finley or just not freeze at all? This is the freeze, right? What is this? Yeah. I don't know. Executes pretty good too, but. It just feels like a premature sanitize, doesn't it? I, I don't know. I think as unglamorous as this turn is, I think this is the turn. It's just, you know, we're, 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 we're advancing our game plan, which is killing the opponent. We're advancing our game plan, which is being alive. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is some high level analysis, Regis. This is why you guys missed my duels runs, man. Did you hear what he said? He said, we're killing the opponent. He's a genius, I say, a genius. Gotta make sure I have enough hard drive space here. Oh yeah, we good. Recording's getting a little long in the tooth. If you will. Opponent's cooking, man. I don't know what they're sitting on. They just got seven mana and nothing to do. I don't know, maybe they had a plan for that Blingtron card and it just evaporated. I don't know. Next turn is Minotaur and Stone Skin for me. Just hero power into the thin air? <laughs> bro, I, bro, I don't know what's happening. I forgot my cards were getting insanely big, by the way. Totally forgot. Thank you, uh... Is this on... Oh, Battle Cry. Bran, is he active? Not quite, we need Trial by Fire. All right, so put in a six bombs, 22 health. Five bombs, 20, 20, 17 health. Four bombs, 12 health. That was rapid. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just gonna die to my weapon soon at this rate. I don't know what they're cooking though. It's actually kind of making me nervous because it's like, what are they about? You know, what are they up to? I don't know, dude, they just hero power passed last turn, so I don't know what's cooking. Cross Nova to stay alive, okay. Yeah, that gives them some black ice plays. This doesn't do anything, but the, the, the Minotauran is pretty cool. Like, they're gonna try to gain life off that, yeah. They might just be dead here, though, is their problem. Does this have any lethal outs in it? Probably not right now. Holy book. Minotauran is actually kind of insane, but I'll just do it on theirs. Like they're gonna play one, you know? <sighs> yeah, I think it's probably just Burrow Buster weapon here again, but let's let's see if this gives me any cool outs. I don't know what, I, I don't even know the XP pull well enough to tell you, to be honest. Uh, this might actually be a bit better. We can always replay the weapon next turn, right? It doesn't have to be this turn. We think they're gonna heal a fair bit here, but they don't die, that is. Pretty unlikely to die though at this stage. We kind of expect the Minotaur to heal them a little bit, but it's not enough to like... They, you know, they picked a, a very thematic deck because they are playing at the speed of ice. Glacial pace here. <laughs> An absolute glacial pace. Gatling wand. Wow. Okay, that's actually kind of insane. All right. Are they going to have time to trade here? Uh, they did not. Uh, okay. No lethals, right? We have seven. They're at 13. I mean, technically, maybe lethal. Also, Wind Fury could also technically be lethal if we went for five, six, nine. And we'd probably take a bomb. I, I think we just do this. I think it's fine. I'm a little worried that they're cooking up something, you know, like are they cooking up some steam here, but I think we'll eventually just get there as well. I am kind of giving them more Minotaurans, to be honest. Like that's a little scary. I don't know. I'm not sure I like this play. I think maybe Sanitize Blade Face is just better. Like this is the fun line. I'm definitely taking the fun line here, but I don't think it's the good line. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I'm not happy with this. Maybe I'll just reset all the Minotaur, uh, the, the, the Minotaurans here with the uh, Sanitize, say screw it. <laughs> this guy's annoying now though, they play this. 
Did they get one? I wonder was their hand. Yeah, well, they got this. They must have, yeah. Turn 10 play right there. It is cheaper, right? It's... These are all getting played cheaper, right? Four, yeah. Yeah, one. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like, there's nothing wrong with the play we took, but it is looking a little wacky now in hindsight. Freya Frost to give themselves another Dongrass. That's a pretty cool play. I like that. That's spicy. I might have wondered if I should have maybe given myself a Minotauran, given my health total so low. I'm wondering if I ever just don't play a card ever again, man. That's what I'm thinking about right now. I don't need to play minions to win this game. You know what I mean? I absolutely do not need to play minions to win this game. I'll tell you that right now. It is not mandatory that I play minions to win this game. So I just, in other words, strand their Minotaurans. Yeah, they're playing these, but they got nowhere to go, buddy. Not me, I'm not playing. I mean, I guess if I get an active brand, I'll probably have to play that. That sounds pretty tempting again. Um, every turn. Okay. This feels fine. Do we trade this? I mean, I might just keep it. I don't know. Who knows? Emergencies. Who knows? So they're at 11. So unfortunately, two bombs are not lethal. I'm still worried there's some weird combo cooking or something. I don't know. But it's probably not really. Probably just freezy stuff. How much damage have I done with the freaking Blade of the Burning Sun, by the way? I think I've got... Plus six in buffs, which means I've gone through four of these. No, three of these. Plus six? Really? That's it? I don't know. Maybe maybe 16 damage or something. Or soon to be 12 damage. I don't know. Well, each one's eight, so it's only not 12. 16, maybe, maybe 20. Astalor does give them armor gain next turn. Can I end the game before then? I mean, I think they're intentionally roping, maybe? I don't know. I'm not really sure what's happening. Oh, Solid Alpha, smart. Okay. Are all the Minotaurans gone? I can't remember. It's like, if they are, I might be better off. Does this last until... Like, do bombs do full damage or not? I have no idea, because 10 is actually a very meaningful breakpoint in that case if they do oh i mean i kind of want to play that right i guess i do give one to the opponent in that case i don't know whatever it's fine three bombs is pretty good I don't know if they have Minotaurans or not, to be honest, but it's fine. I don't think they, they might have one left. I don't think they have more than one. Yeah, it looked like that did indeed turn off before the draw, so that's good to know. So until we get that that trial by fire, not a lot of not a lot of action. Then we can do crazy Ignis plays. I mean, at some level, I might should just go for Ignis now. There might be lethal outs with like Wind Fury and Ping. Oh, what are they at, 10? I think Wind Fury is six. Ping does four though, right? So maybe there is an out. Let's see how desperate we get. Let's see what they have. This does give them five armor again, by the way, as does this. I'm giving them a ton of armor potentially, but whatever. They literally rope every single turn. I don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe some reason for that, huh? So 10 now, I'm just bored. I gotta play this. I'm just, I'm just too bored to not play this. We'll go five. Wind Fury. Nope. Well, that defeated the purpose. Uh, deal four. Still pretty nuts for later, maybe. Doesn't feel like a lethal right now, though. I mean, I guess it gives me a lethal out. With a bomb.
If I had Wind Fury, it would be good. Oh, dude, a 9 1 Kobold Miner. Oh, nice. The lethal out has been granted. Thank goodness that game was taking a while. Opponent was very careful. We can't we can't be too mad. Like I said, we've played slow. Okay, Surly Mob Queldalar would be a heck of a way. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, no, it's not good though, right? Ah, uh, we gotta try it. Would be a heck of a way to finish. Now, let's go this. I like the brand a lot, and it's it's still pretty easy to activate, to be honest. Only two cards. Five wins, man. It's a good start. Uh, shield block on one's really nice. Blade Storm's pretty dang good against... Uh, Dudes, a lot of them are one health dudes. Cargo guard's fine on two, so this is a pretty good. This is a pretty good opener. Cargo guard on one is actually also pretty cool. Idols and cannibalism. Oh my god. Idols is scary with like man at arms and stuff. Oh my god. I guess we're losing a game, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna do a cargo guard just because he starts trading faster. I don't know. It may not be worth it, but it depends on what we draw a little bit. Because I don't really have another turn, turn three or three cost turn right now. I need like armor vendor shield block or something. Uh, maybe kobold miner would be pretty good. I just want to start eating through minions ASAP, and I know that a, a body on board does that. Kobold miner, let's go. Perfect hit. Perfect hit. Yeah. Maybe a little less perfect, but not the worst. Drawing cards is good. This guy having health is is good. So, I mean, yeah, 29 cards in deck, right? We got a lot of work for bombs to do here. Um, it only shows one bomb in deck, but there should be two, right? Turn one and turn two? Oh, no, actually, maybe not, no. Maybe this goes off before this, huh? Oh, I didn't think about that. It's okay though. Uh, Blade Storm is gotta be worth it, right? Do they trade in on this or do they just go face? Oh, they trade in maybe. Oh, cannibalism. So trading in makes a lot of sense actually. Yeah, Blade Storm's not very good here actually. Oh, the second muster. Maybe it is still good. Never mind. Oh my God. Why on earth? His idol's so freaking good here. I don't think we can wait, right? I, I think I have to. The only downside is I don't have any, any way to activate either of these now. But it's like if they play Crusader, I just get murdered. Just absolutely murdered. Air raid. It's a big reload, man. They get another one, so there's five dudes out again. This is crazy, dude. I need... I need sanitize i need a the frothing thingy what's it called not frothing um bellowing does it froth does it bellow yeah this is weird right but let's kill the old guy oh deep hole geode is insane okay that's actually so insane it might even be worth zoling just because i desperately need ways to clear stuff oh no i'm dead actually just dead oh geodes not enough man i need six to play the geodes oh my god look at this legend i need i need i need i i just need more than what i have <laughs> dude oh that's so crazy dude the the man the, the it's just so sanitize but i can't really do it because i don't have the armor right now <sighs> i need to for well, even forging is not enough it doesn't help i mean sanitize again bro no i don't have it i don't have it oh my god idols is idols not ultra rare anymore i've seen idols like three times tonight in like a couple hours of duels i feel like it's just not even rare anymore oh my god oh no so i can go double geode but 
it doesn't even begin to help. Oh, perfect. I'm glad you're here. Can't, can't, can't do this. No armor. Executes dead. Crazy damage on board. No way to clear it. An absolutely useless hand. I mean, completely useless. Maybe the opponent will decide to toy with me. Can't even clear one unit, dude. This is so insane that they don't have double minute arms. Oh, sucks they had that in their opener. I think we actually could have done this if they didn't have that in their opener. But every single one for the rest of the game just having plus four plus four is just brutal. It's too much. Baby Regina is stirring. She's mad. She could sense my frustration through the airwaves. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Toy with me. BM a little bit. Mess something up. I don't know. Whatever. Air raid again. Cool. Just two mana summon 12. No, excuse me. 14, 10 in stats. But actually more than that because um, you... No way are they going to miss lethal, right? There's just no chance that you miss lethal. You have a billion. Oh my God. They're actually going to toy with me. They still have lethal because they have a billion damage. Just a billion. Okay. Well, yeah, that was a game. Sort of. Not really. Probably not actually really a game, but it's kind of. So burning heart kind of cool as an activator for all these execute cards, but there's a double there. We don't love This has two doubles as well though because you got heavy plate and bash We really don't need another weapon uh, Steam guardians. I do like how cheap they are costing two and I do like the card draw We're gonna take a double. This is actually kind of a triple but so is this because all three of these create doubles Oh, this actually creates a triple though, which is even worse. I don't know, at least they cycle though. The other ones don't even cycle. All right, this is about where Bomb Warrior starts to lose steam sometimes, right? All right, bash on one if we want to get bombs going. I think that does get kind of worse as the game goes on. Like, you know, the deeper into the run, the less valuable that actually becomes. Um, so maybe bash to deal with their early game minion is better instead. I think card draw and, and card generation are ultimately our primary goals, though. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Orb is going to make their stuff very cheap. Well, not very cheap, but cheaper. Notably cheaper, but just not not ultimately cheap. We love Cargo Guard. It's really, really good early. I feel like my hands have been getting way too small. I need like armor. I need excavates. I need um, steam guardians are great now. May use Zola on some card draw even. Frothing, honestly, it's okay. Sure. They, they look like they're um, like brothers who went down different paths, <laughs> but still both like swords a lot. I love blades. So hear me out, Zola Bladestorm and just make a freaking huge frothing berserker. Never mind, this is obviously better. I mean, we're getting some really good chip damage. This is the kind of deck I do feel like is gonna have a lot of life gain though. So unless we find a magic window of just good bomb outs and just endless weapon pressure, I'm really happy to see this weapon regardless though, because the weapon does just mean I have mana to spend. Just endless mana to spend. Oh. Oh, come on. That's an insane result. I have so much garbage, like Cobalt Miner. I mean, even like Bran and Brawler. So many bad cards. And would they get that? That sucks. I just got to keep replaying the weapon here. This is pretty good, I guess. Trial's pretty good next turn. Um, yeah, I don't know. This cargo guard has put in some work, by the way. We played this on turn two. 
and it's turn five yeah there's the free spirit to gain armor i bet this is draw cards they're not too worried about their life total which implies they do have some life gain beyond maybe just the hero power embrace plating that's actually pretty good i just need stuff to do and this is stuff to do so we'll take it Ugh. that's honestly not stuff to do coins don't help i guess they let me cheat a holy book next turn sometimes so six bombs in deck i mean that's lethal right we got it it's easy if we didn't have this weapon right now i do we not have enough card draw i guess we just don't man i don't know i, I need i need armor i need steam guardian more excavates i feel like we're just so out of cards constantly i have removal that's just hard to use i will say though dude this freaking guy has been alive for a hundred years what is this this is not worth a holy book i don't have any undead or whatever <laughs> this is the world's worst trial by fire i'm pretty sure <laughs> they're all just two <laughs> i mean it's a board thank god for blade by the way this is saving me right now the cargo guard 2 is just a boss dude <laughs> he's turned two so, in, so at the end of turn two three four five six and seven he's had six hits which is 18 life actually insane dare i hope he gets more this must be like an aoe right what is this what is gaining force so they're kind of just negating the blade right now we need better hits. Oh, finally. The cargo car is finally dead. I didn't think it would ever happen. Uh, might be overkill, honestly, on this. I don't know. I do like how much chip damage I'm getting this turn though, man. They just took a walloping. That is putting them in some scary bomb ranges already. They've just, I mean, I'm sure they're going to deal with this board here, but I have an Ignis, which is really good as soon as I can start to forge. Oh, Adara. Okay. That's not the worst Adara, but it is true that they, that they're probably scared they were dead. Like, Cavaldir deals damage instead. Oh man, normally I love armor vendor, but here it's just garbage. This is the worst turn I have ever had in my life. I'm gonna do this just to make a 10 10. It's obviously terrible. I mean, we all know it's terrible, but it's all I've got. I just don't have a play. I just got, I can't pass the whole turn. I need to keep them busy, you know? Okay, that's not the worst. I mean, we had a lot, but... Oh! Well, that's a very good card to have. <laughs> I'm pumped. I'm very pumped. I don't know when I'll draw it, of course, but a very powerful card. But it has nine bombs at 13 life. We're keeping their hero power. Oh, never mind. They have nine bombs. We went for a tie. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I guess that's just a bailout in case you think you're gonna lose. I didn't gain any armor, so they had the win. That's crazy. I've never seen that, dude. That's crazy. It's like 
I guess if you have armor, you you can win. So you have the siege breaker. That's actually crazy thing I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> All right, let's keep the trial by fire just to have some kind of removal. It's also really good with the 3x steam guardians that we have in our deck. Just kind of the cost of those. Somehow I have completely missed early here though. Oh boy. I need cards. I mean, this at three, I guess, helps a little. Yeah, this is honestly decent. I, it's like, how good are the bombs, you know? It's like, the, the blade gives you a lot of damage, so I think the bombs are okay. I just wonder if I'm gonna be using blade to tidy up stupid little uh, three threes or three fours now, whatever they are. Yeah, I kill that with a blade or just go face or just leave that for later, you know? There's two of them. I just don't want to deal with that. I go face. I'm going to find removal, right? If not, I mean, trial by fire will definitely help me catch up at some point soon. Uh, sure wouldn't mind seeing like a sanitize, though. I feel like my deck is just really low cycle. I need Steam Guardian to make this trial cost five. Oh, getting smorked like crazy. I mean, Cargo Guard's okay, but not good. This is honestly maybe worth hitting, but... <sighs> okay. I'm getting so tired, guys. It's 2.30 a.m. I have to be up with my baby at uh, probably, she'll probably wake up around six, but sometimes she wakes up at four. So we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Might be having a rough night. I'm gonna try to sleep during the day tomorrow, but I have a Marvel snap card that comes out at some point. So can't sleep forever. Um. I'm gonna try to trust, man. I I think I'm screwed in this race, but I'm gonna try to trust. I, you know, just trust the removal, basically. I don't know if they have a lot of like damage acceleration. It's not like Paladin where I'm worried about like Crusader Aura just murdering me. This is a relatively fixed amount of damage. I mean, sludges and stuff, of course. Oh, taunts too, good God. Well, I guess we lose. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we just took too long. This hand, dude. I, 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 oh, man. I feel like I have so many ways to cycle early and I just didn't get any of them. They are trading a lot, which kind of relieves me a little because trial becomes a bit better. But these drill fists, these feel so good. I need, I need, well, sanitize is no good. I'd have just dead, right? Just dead too long a lot of life gain this into death wings kind of a stabilizer maybe this might get to hit twice you kind of doubt it because you, you you do expect um... you do kind of expect a barrel to deal with this maybe Maybe I heal another nine though. I don't know. Death wings too slow really though. If I get a sanitize forge on, it's really not that good. Too much reborn. That's the kind of damage we were worried about. Unfortunately, I think they might've had a lethal here. Maybe they do anyway. Nine, 12, 15, 19. Uh, I think they missed lethal. Maybe not. No, no, no. That was at one, I guess. Right? No, no miss lethal. Uh, I mean this leaves me dead. There's not enough health on this, right? It's just like so much damage and these are reborn Uh, All right, he's fun at least Man these hands have just turned to hot garbage. I I wonder if there was something about the way I drafted or Am I mulliganing poorly? I don't know man. I mean I don't know, but my early, like, no bellowing flames, no, like, just, like, shield blocks or blade storms, no armor vendors. We're just getting, like, junk. I feel like we're just drawing junk so reliably. I don't want to go out like this. Give me the hilt. 
Bang seems solid. I mean, we're not actually very good with health. Maybe it's party portal. Maybe we just... Maybe we got some spells. I don't know. Maybe it's party portal. He just is like... <coughs> Why is his run doing so bad as he takes party portal? I'm lo I'm losing steam, guys. I'm losing steam. I don't know. I just feel like this doesn't have it. I don't think these treasures have it, you know? What treasures did this 12 run deck I copied get? Recycling and idols of a loon. No wonder. That sounds awesome. Recycling is so much armor. Idols is insane too with um like the excavate spells. I don't think my treasures are bad necessarily. I am really wishing I had taken the books though. Mm. Bro. Bro, don't tell me they pulled down the servers early. No, you know what would be kind of romantic if I just never finished this run and I just left it open forever. I mean, obviously it will get deleted. <laughs> The universe will ruthlessly delete it. But there would be some romance in, um... All right, here we go. Is this my last duels game ever? I don't know. Let's see. I actually like this hand a little better than normal. Um, no no armor on one, but that's kind of, I think, losing its, its upside. I suspect this is maybe Dragon. Yeah, we saw a Dragon Drek'thar in a previous one, I think. Right, maybe? That's, it feels familiar. Um, dragon boards are scary. They got dream portals and they got hand buffs on their dragons too. But we like Cobalt Miner early. We like Cargo Guard. Did I, I thought I passed back the Minotauran. Did I get a second one, I guess? Trog is good for early tempo, but they do not do that all the time. Do not do that all the time. Uh, I'm gonna need value, right? Like, I'm gonna need more, like, I need board clears, right? I just, again, I feel like I have no cards in hand. I just feel like I never have any cards. This deck does not generate enough stuff to my liking. Ignis is kind of stuff, yeah? Maybe Ignis can turn into some card draw. He has card draw options. Might be necessary, honestly. Hey, I, I, you know, if I, if I could greed him to play him later, I definitely would love to, you know, Zolas and Brands and so on, but that's just not a realistic line. I think we would play him ASAP here. Breath of Dreams, okay. Not too spooky so far, but you know, it's, they're, they're gonna turn the corner here soon and do some scary stuff. So let's make sure we're equipped for that. This is good for like the turn five weapon here. I think I choose card draw. I mean, board is also, you know, potentially relevant. It's got to be card draw. I just, I just need cards. I have been short on cards this entire game. I'm drawing four cards per turn, though. So that's actually almost too many. <laughs> maybe I only attack once. At least on the first one. I don't know. Maybe we can dump some more stuff later. Crystal cluster, bro. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm scared. Yeah, I think we'll sit, right? There's no reason to coin right now. Um, I mean, this is just a crazy amount. It's like, what, eight cards drawn? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I felt like I've been needing this, these like last few games. Now this attacks my minions as well, which definitely sucks if they go for like, I don't know. I mean, I guess they go for like an Onyxia or something. It's fine. Dude, they're still drawing. What are they looking for? Maybe Dragon Golem, just more stuff. Dragon Consort? Gym Tosser. That's not bad, man. That's not bad. I'll be honest. You're pretty good. You're pretty good, my dude. I mean, this kind of makes Deathwing a little more interesting, but I got a coin by attack. I'm still generating a bunch of stuff. Zola on the Ignis is pretty cool. Could maybe just go bash Zola. I don't know what else to use it on sort of thing. You know what I mean? I have nine in hand. If I go coin and clear this off and draw two. 
could also just go bellowing on this feels like i need that bellowing now plating is it, it it gives me another cards the problem i don't know i guess we just see what we draw blade storm and brawler gonna burn a card it's okay it's not very good uh i'm gonna burn a card i mean what's the only bad burn bran literally in the whole deck maybe blade but that seems okay because i just got another ignis i think it's literally brand's the only bad burn and i still have three steam guardians to worry about for brand so i gotta start dumping some cards man <laughs> need to play some stuff and unfortunately i just don't have a lot of good stuff to play hey blade of quadlar we have one of those too nice dude the opponent's getting low though i will say that um smelt into ignis here is okay i think i gotta save the deathwing to be honest i think we take a five on this again i just i, I can't attack yet my hand is still a little bit too full but i think five is the sweet spot this game Ten's too expensive. Wind Fury and summon a four. Yeah, it's probably a little better than 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 uh, than armor in this case. I'm at eight, so I'm gonna sit one more time. Well, it's got five bombs in the deck, two dream portals. So I mean, twenty five is already technically you know lethal. Oh, just kidding. Uh, the tech card, dude. I mean, it's leaving their portals too, I guess. It's kind of nice upside. I mean, it was enough bombs. I mean, maybe they identified that was a pretty scary breakpoint. I kind of get it. So I think Minotaur in here looks okay, but I just, I need to dump more stuff. You know? I just can't really attack with my face I don't mind because this is a good turn I guess but I mean they seem to be really proud of the bomb deletion but it's not I mean you know I like my bombs don't get me wrong it does certainly help them activate their hero power more reliably oh my god dude why does that Diablo card always give that I swear uh last charge okay I, I just gotta dump cards guys this is clearly not a good turn and i'm still not getting to use my weapon <laughs> i want to start pushing face damage i i i'm so close to a brand now though because i just need one more steam guardian that i don't think i want to burn cards you know bro this guy's deck is just all tech cards look at this not even mad it's just cool uh I mean, the good news is they're not really developing a lot of scariness yet you know still sitting on some pretty good removal too what are they pushing for though it's making me nervous dude i gotta be careful because apocalypse is pretty nasty i'm down to 17 i can push six like right now another six here i feel like they're kind of in a scary spot almost Dude, Ogre Fist Boulder is actually insane. This is a big damage push. Wait, 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 wait. That's just insane. It's lethal. <laughs> Let's go. Perfect. Nice, dude. I thought they had a. They seemed. They seemed scary good to me almost. I don't know. Um, Odin. Finally, do we take him? another steam guardian general vezax is it's okay odin costs eight i mean i just don't i think it's too expensive i've already had too many expensive dead hands theoretically we have enough lethality you know we got the blade we got bombs six wins guys is this my final duels game ever i i i got a feeling it might be i just don't see us going this much further uh it would be kind of cool to get a seven win run though you know 
make my money back here. It is 3 a.m. almost. It is so hot in my room because I had to close all the doors to keep the baby. Uh, the baby is uh, chilling asleep here. You can probably see her a little bit here on the camera. She's asleep and uh, it's so hot. I'm dying. Mage with that hero power. I don't know. I think I just got to go for early curve stuff. Hammer, I mean, it's pretty good. It's a lot of value in one card, you know, it deals with three or four things. Yeah, hammer and blade, we don't like together. And Bran is just dead for a while. So, yeah. I mean, this is good to have early. I just wouldn't have kept this if I knew about it, you know. Orb and uh, sticky fingers. So cheap stuff getting generated. Okay. I'd like to get one more fun brand game, dude. This is Boba Fett. We'll call me Jabba the Hut. Eh, he's okay. Blade's good. Blade's good. Uh, it's a shame we draw the Minotaurin right before playing the Blade every time. Um, that's kind of annoying, right? Probably have to tidy up these guys. Like, yes, I want to go face as much as I can, but those guys in particular probably need to be tidied a fair bit. What? I'll be honest, that surprised me. Frozen touch face, not infused with no armor. I didn't have any armor. If I had armor and that deleted the armor, I would maybe understand it. I would still think it's kind of bad maybe, but what am I missing? I'm nervous. Maybe they're gonna have hand size problems later and they're just aware of that and just dumping cards. It's perhaps an explanation. Uh, hear me out. I'm gonna coin a trial by fire next turn, okay? My plan. Tempo party portal with no spells. I really don't have anything good to do. Minotaurin and Stoneskin kind of want to go together. Oh my God, bro. Are you kidding me right now? That was not nice. I'm not in love with them having that, obviously. Like, you know, it's annoying. We can mitigate damage like that pretty well with all of our life gain. And I do happen to have a nice weapon back up in hand too, which is perfect for stone skin. So, I don't know. I think if they spend a lot of mana on that, I don't think we're heartbroken necessarily. I mean, I guess if they had like a crazy charge minion or something, maybe I'd be, I'd be annoyed. Oh my God. Oh, I thought I was gonna miss the Minotaurin, dude. They would have had a good ping anyway. Cinderstorm, Cinderstorm times two. Wow. Actual gods. I mean, I don't really care because hammer is still so good, but how annoying. How freaking annoying. I love how big all my dudes are. Ignis, okay, that's nice. Two bombs only in deck. We just have not gained a lot of reliable armor. Steam into trials pretty sweet next turn though. A lot of value generation. They're playing that early though, so maybe looking to dump some hand. I don't know. Maybe just getting a discount on something meaningful here. Hmm. That's not so bad. Early Frost Nova? I can live with that. This is gonna be a counter spell, bro. That's scary. I mean. Maybe I don't really care if it's counter spell. Maybe I play this anyway, just because what in the heck else am I going to do? Not counterspell confirmed. With Ignis in hand, I think we go face, even though I don't guess I forged yet. It's still, you know, maybe we leave this last charge. So interestingly, we've drawn enough Steam Guardians that now Sanitize is our only remaining... Bro. I know we're not gonna lose to a Queldalar 
for my last ever duels game. No. <laughs> Not like this. No. Not like this. That is an insane Minotaur, and yeah. What is this, by the way? I don't even know. I might save this heavy plate. I'm like a little worried about life gain and I'm just losing my minions, you know? I, I don't know. This is eight damage per turn, so I, I may need this. I don't know. Minotaur and Smelt's pretty insane if it connects. Dude, I'm so sad because we went for the blade, but we haven't hit the hilt. Uh, so crazy, dude. So crazy. I can't really develop any board, but if I just heal enough, it maybe it doesn't really matter, you know? Sunset volley, dude, no way. Yogg is very terrifying. Steam Guardian again, are you kidding me? I actually don't want to lose the armor, so this is sort of perfect timing. Hit Minotaur in one time! Uh... I'm a little worried about, like, you know, one of these, I don't know, whatever, Oasis Ally or something. I'm gonna go ahead and Blade Storm. It's not good, you know, I'm not happy about it, but uh, I don't even think taking an extra four is viable. This is still another 16 damage and I'm only at 28 and and you know mage is not just This you know, there's obviously gonna be other scariness going on So I I'm trying to maximize every point of health here I don't even know if I have time to play a brand this game. Oh, of course as soon as I use the blade storm, bro. No way No way, dude not like this, no. Sanitize. It's gotta be that. Um, we can forge it too. That means Bran is active as well. Yeah, this is just free armor, so I think we have to take it. Okay, they're on their last charge of Quel'Dalar. Bran... Ignis is now active. Um, maybe should have attacked. Fa well, I'll attack. I'll attack next turn either way. I mean, you know, we're not in the worst spot to be honest, but we're not in a good spot either. Of course, Brand's hard to play even at five. I need them to have like a downturn here where they just don't go crazy on me. You know, like don't make a monster board. Don't, you know, they may save this final charge of Quel'Dalar. That's to that. I don't mind you healing even. That's fine. Just don't make anything crazy. You know, this draws two spells, which is pretty sweet. Oh, Potion of Illusion. Oh, whoa. They have infinite clumsy couriers right now. That's kind of wild. Uh, they used their last charge so they can get the burning blade active again. I mean, that's still okay though because it gives me time, I think Uh, do we know what this is? Oh, nice barrier I really want to hit like, um Reinforced plating here Nice, I think I play it. I don't need Ignis right now Make sure we're alive, you know? That's the main goal. They do have six bombs now as well, by the way. Oh, summoning ward. Okay, that's not so bad. Sanitize can definitely help us deal with that sort of stuff. So Bran is active. Now we can start generating potentially a lot of value. Oh God. Am I dead? What is this? I don't even know. Oh, we might be dead. There's like Cinderstorm and Sunset Volley times two. That's 30 or 20 damage by itself. This is scary. Oh my god, nothing is hitting um th 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 These cards can hit them, right? If I'm not mistaken, this does not say targets enemy if, if possible It's you know, obviously the cinder storms and volleys are gonna connect to regardless, but uh oh, Okay, you know what that could have been worse 
But I may still die because I can't clear everything. I don't have enough armor. Burrow Buster times two? I mean, yeah. Yeah, right? We get the legendary guy, which has a very good chance of solving this problem. Um... I'm still at 14, which sucks. Giant, I mean, there's a taunt here. Seems like it's never gonna matter, but maybe. I need rush. Oh, this is good. Lieutenant clears. Troublemaker could, but Lieutenant's just guaranteed to eat one. Lieutenant again! <gasps> Rhino! Actually insane. Actually insane. I'm a little worried about a freeze here. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold. Hopefully I'm not dead, right? Bomb? Okay, sure. Free? Whatever. Oh my god, this game dude is crazy by the way. This game is crazy. Is 14 enough, man? This board could just end the game too, right? How much damage, right? Well, that 10 one's probably always dead. I got 16, 26, 30 maybe, yeah? Ogre Fist can be a bit of a buff. What is this gonna be? Star power is not bad, but not great necessarily either. Oh, it did go off twice though. Wait, why did they go? Did they go up twice? Am I losing my mind? I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. We're chilling. We're alive. That's the important thing here. Um, yeah, let's go Ignis and look for a five that gains like armor or something, right? Life steal, sure. That's a start. Uh, armor, probably a little better at the stage than than summoning a dude, right? We can grab another one too to see. What this one gets us. Wind Fury. Okay. So I'm going to forecast deal four. Draw two. I might need the draw two to reload later. That actually seems pretty good. Okay. How is he so big, by the way? Did that go off twice or am I losing my mind? I don't even know. But I don't know why it went off twice. Maybe they played one organically and then played. I don't know. I thought I saw it go off twice. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Orb doesn't make it go off twice. Sticky fingers doesn't make it go off twice. They don't have double battle cries. They don't play a brand, right? I don't know. Maybe they just literally played the second one and I just zoned out for a second. I'm not sure. So they're 12. I'm at 21. I have lifesteal and armor gain and still some bombs. That is a fantastically fitting removal card. Oh, this is not active though, importantly. Okay. So sanitize here is a little off. But I have execute and blast charge. Oh, I also have just armor. Do I want to use the blast charge and execute or save them? Because I do have enough to just deal with these straight up. But I might want to use these, right? Just to get some value out of them. I'm going to use the sanitize either way. So that resource is gone. It's just, do I think I need to execute in the blast charge later? You know, because they're going to be hard to activate later. I think we do it this way, man. I think they're just too challenging to activate. So we just do it like this. It's kind of weird, but I think it might be right. That's an insane result, by the way. Actually insane. So we're back to 30. Opponents on some bomb outs here too. They have seven bombs in a 26 card deck. I mean, that's not, not there yet, but you know, getting close to being scary. This is also just six direct now. Depends on how much we want to farm life off of this, I guess. Um, Yeah, we don't have any like direct damage other than bash. But that would be lethal with Runic Axe, so I could maybe go for the Runic Axe Bash, because I, I would actually draw like half the deck, basically, through through half the deck. It gives you a pretty good chance um, to hit the lethal here. 
I think I can risk it, right? We're back to 25. Just seems like we want to end the game, right? Deathwing and armor vendor. Come on, baby. Bash me, dude. Bash me, dude. No. This is pretty good anyway, though. This also has some pretty cra crazy lethal outs. It's uh, 10 bombs into the opponent's deck. And of course, it's on a life gain, too. <laughs> So I like going for lethal here with this. It's not like we got bad backup plans, man. Come on, they gotta hit a bomb. Yeah, nice. Okay, dude, we got to seven. What a freaking, what a freaking match. Beating the Kveldalar. That's tough, dude. That's tough. I'm proud. That was cool. It is three in the morning, man. No, oh, where is my blade? Krusty's Battle Cry, so he's pretty cheap. Yeah, let's take Krusty. The Chronic's dang near the same cost. These are all really good cards, but I just don't want more duplicates. Brand, as we saw, can be insane if you get to him, which is hard, but it's not impossible. Okay, Hunter is spooky, but Bellowing Flames could help me catch up. Krusty at four is like so good that maybe we just have to keep it. I'm worried about Death Rattles, but so good. Um, Sanitize, nice too, yeah. I feel like a holy book or something could be really good this game just because like death rattle, you know, is scary. I feel like we're not good against death rattles generally though, so I'm very nervous. Secrets, rogue, and hunter. So many things flying on screen right now. What is happening, dude? It's a million cards. Yeah, well definitely. Oh, that's a pretty good early card too. I've been missing this guy at four a lot. He's so good at four. I don't know if flames is better than sanitize or not, but it's cheaper, so. If I need to play it sooner, that's how we do it, right? I'm going to go ahead and coin the Burrow Buster. Get it going. Get a big boy in play. I'm a little worried about Freezing Trap, obviously. A little worried about everything here, obviously. A lot of potential problems. No. Um, Snake Trap. Yeah, it still sucks, to be honest. Yeah. Blade Storm's like suddenly a little better if they don't trade in. But... Building Flames too, I guess, also pretty good. Oh, they got a Burrow Buster. That's, and a coin. Oh man, that plagiarize was actually insane. <sighs> Not a particularly synergistic card for them, I guess, is the Burrow Buster, but just a good big dude. Might be a good crusty target for me too, though. Their hand is giga buffed. Oh my God, look at these stats, dude. Only flames no good here. Crusty no good here. Blade Storm not really any good here. It's not terrible. I think we just do this though. Do we hit this guy? I don't think so. Their hand is just monstrously big, but Crusty could equalize that really fast. Like if they get too greedy and get too big, Crusty could just overwhelm them, right? Be a monster dude. Is it even worth like a blade storm this turn to try to set that up? Just like, you know, blade storm now, clear this up, give them even more stats to play off of. They might just play that burrow buster, honestly. And maybe I just go big crusty. Storm pike's gone, all right. They have no armor gain. I don't know what, I mean, they're just, their hand has got like what, plus six or something? Really the guy we wanted to plus four on this. It's not that big yet. Um all right. Definitely don't care. Oh, I uh guess that order didn't really matter. I don't care about them having armor at this stage. I'm just trying to stay alive, so I mean a bomb is also completely irrelevant. <laughs> just need the life myself. We're kind of off curve a little bit this whole time because like Minotaurin's not going to be good. Um, there's our crusty target. Okay. Yeah, that is a monster, dude. Hopefully, oh, they just throw the rock face because of hand size. Yeah, dude, execute so good against this too, right? I think I have to take the execute now. There will be good crusty targets down the road, right? That's got to be the logic. It's true that they may not start quite as big as this started, but there's just got to be. This executes too clean. I'm not going to get clean executes later, you know? 
I may get a slightly smaller crusty, of course, but I just I just think I have to. This hand though, I need cards, man. I need like armorer, I need steam guardians times seven. I know my I mean I guess the opponent's hand could be a lot more spells than we're expecting, to be fair, but we know at least a couple things are beasts because they were drawn by the, the the stupid raptors or a lot of things, maybe. I don't know if they drew the web spinner or not. <clears throat> They don't seem overly thrilled with their lines, though. I don't know, they're not like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, this does not go up five times, right? No. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the ending of my duels career. <laughs> I really can't think of a more fitting end than the most stupidly broken thing I've ever seen that should not exist in the game. Being what ends me, what in God's name was that? The Krusty would have been big, by the way. Oh my God. Um, yeah, that's, um, uh, that's duels, I guess. Let's open up these, uh, last few packs I got. Uh, I think only two of these are from duels, but, uh, we'll see. That last pack will be the last duels pack. Maybe we'll get a double golden legendary to reward our duels diligence throughout the years. Or more realistically, we'll get four commons and a rare, because that's the only fitting end for duels. Let's see. What do we get here? Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just an epic. Uh, very boring. Yeah. Uh, that's it, guys. I'm done. Duels, it, it closes in like nine hours, but I got to go take care of a baby. I got to go sleep. So uh, that's it, man. It's it's gone. Yeah, by the time you see this, it's already gone. So, yeah, we, we made it till 315. We got another seven win run. It's pretty fun. That, that mage uh, fight did feel like kind of a fitting end. The hunter fight felt like a realistic end, but it's cool to have both sides of that. So uh, thanks as always for joining me on these uh, crazy duels runs, guys. It's It's been quite a journey. I'm really sad the mode is gone. Uh, hopefully someday we find something similar somewhere out there to replace it because a um, lot of potential, a lot of fun to be had when things went well. So love you all. Thank you for watching. Uh, there will still be Hearthstone stuff. Maybe not as cool as duels, but hopefully we'll find something to satiate the uh the duels hunger if you will but thank you love you all a ton thanks for watching as always and uh until next time game on cool.